Dove, do you think Trump's going to win? And why? My gut feeling is, every year's feeling is, yes, he has to win. If he doesn't win, it's all because the Rabbi Nishlein didn't want him to win. A yid has to have bitachin. A yid has to... Everything, everything that happens is because Hashem wants it that way. Now, if Hashem, if Trump didn't win, is something we have to take on Bahava because Hashem wanted that way. But Matz Hashem, uh, 2016 was also unpredictable, and it happened. You know why? Because Hashem wanted that way. So again, listen, we're all nervous for all this, but again, there's no reason to be nervous because if, if it's shared for him to win, he will win. And if it's not the shit, you won't win. That's it. That's the way he has to look at things. But what's your gut feeling as today? My gut feeling, it has to. If win. you have to bet ten dollars, it can't be that there's more than fifty-one percent idiots in the, in the United States. It can't be. It doesn't make it doesn't make any sense. And if it is, it's time to leave. I think we should all go back to Israel because Israel, the the far left, has lost already twenty-five years. That means there is a lot more than 60, 70 percent of smart people in Israel. So we, sorry, don't belong here anymore. It's sad, but. Again, where, uh, you know, my grandmother and grandfather, my father used to talk about Hitler, uh, those years where they had to run away. Nobody believed in those years that we're going to have to pack up and leave and leave our belongings behind. But look what happened. I'm not saying we're in that matzif, but we get, if we don't change and we don't stand up for ourselves and our, and our lead this, this little leadership that we do have, stand up for us and not make us see Mashas every seven years, and that's what their whole budget is based on, there's so many other problems Yiddishkeit that people have and to stick up for the Yidden is now but you know what it comes down to? the mighty dollar it all comes down to the mighty dollar they get money from the state and they threaten and that's why they don't want to, uh, uh, they don't want to uh, burn any bridges and that's very 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 sad our G'doylem never looked at money and that's why they were very successful especially all the G'doylem that are not here right now there are G'doylem People don't take advice from them. If we would take advice from them, I think we'd be a lot more successful.